well so back with another episode a bit late because i had some uh, some things to attend so back again what do we have an update about leno and fulham where exactly things are standing at the moment and also sir gamelin kavik savage update is there any uh, are there go- going to be any movements what about jared bowen like is it reality saliba's performance jurgen klopp believes that arsenal can fight for the title more things to come arthur melo does something on instagram that is really raising a lot of eyebrows as particularly from the arsenal fans so everything will be discussed in this episode so stay tuned for that and of course if you seek daily arsenal content the best place to be consider subscribing man i don't know what's stopping you if you're seeking daily arsenal content subscribe yeah the first news is we have of god uh, leno ben jacobs says that leno wants to move to fulham and has encouraged arsenal to lower their asking price and let him leave arsenal want 1515 million pounds all in no moment yet arsenal looking for appearance related bonuses and survival add-ons on top of a pretty big fee move still possible but no progress yet now james benge ad actually adds more into it he says one detail to add in here uh, the offer that arsenal rejected was 7 million pounds up front with 3 million in add-ons that was rejected by arsenal situation hasn't particularly changed in last week since this report were, uh, but worth bearing in mind that uh, both the clubs um, both the clubs uh, are very much motivated to do this transfer um, it can change quickly so this is really cool this is really cool man it can change really quickly so I, i'm not expecting I'm pretty much sure if uh, it's pretty much clear if Fulham wants their player go and get your player man stop stop just beating around the bush just you want the player come and get your player and get lost simple pay what Arsenal want and get lost and talking about Marquinhos well he shared this on Instagram and he loves Martin Odegaard he says what a player and yes he is a different kind of a player Martin Odegaard is a special one and talking about special ones uh, let's talk about Alvaro Morata 2022 still talking about Alvaro, Alvaro Morata going to another club. So, well, uh, according to Mohammed El Chehali, he says that uh, in the last hours Atletico Madrid received an important call from England for Morata. However, he only wants Juventus. 25 million plus bonuses are needed. It's important to not reach a tug of war between the parties. The big question, the big thing is that even if he wants Juventus, but does Juventus want him? That's the question. So, apparently, uh, Arsenal versus Chelsea game saw a record attendance of sixty-three thousand eight hundred and eleven. It is the largest crowd ever for a soccer game or a football game in Orlando. It is even higher than nineteen eighty-four World Cup games, nineteen ninety-four World Cup games. I'm sorry to, you know, come up with a mistake. So that is really crazy. Interesting, isn't it? Also, Charles Watts has an update. He says that uh, Tomiyasu to join with the team this week. Hopefully, gets a few minutes versus Sevilla. Tierney is a worry as Mikel has not given a time frame as to when he will be back. And talking about Fabio Vieira, Charles Watts says, looks like Fabio Vieira uh, is running out, is running, but has not started full contact yet, training yet. And he says, I don't think Arsenal are done in the market. There are definitely uh, there are definitely areas in the squad a right winger to compete with Saka and uh, maybe a central midfielder. there is possibility of a closed doors friendly before the sevilla game so so many things to look out for before the sevilla game but moving on um well ex uh, west ham united employee this is an account on twitter they on their patreon site said that uh, there has been some talk that arsenal want to make a move for bowen We have been told that the club have no intentions of selling and will in fact be offering him a new much improved contract when the transfer window closes. So that's basically uh, the truth. So interesting. But moving on let's talk about William Saliba well 90% passes completed nine successful interceptions 100% success, successful duels zero goals conceded William Saliba's numbers in the preseason has been crazy for Arsenal in an Arsenal kit has been fantastic he is just an amazing defender to have in your team so 
I'm really calm. I'm really, really, really calm. And I'm really enjoying the this William Saliba to Arsenal. I've been waiting for that. Moving on, so Jurgen Klopp was asked on more challenges for Premier League title. Spurs and Man United could challenge. He says, It was always clear that these ki- uh, kinds of things will uh, happen. Arsenal did obviously exceptionally well. Did you mention Chelsea? Probably not a crazy good team. The main target for all of us is to qualify for the Champions League. It's really difficult enough already. When you reach the UC- that UCL qualification, then you fight for the title. UCL qualification will be a massive fight this season, says Jürgen Klopp. Well, you bet your sweet bobbity ass it will be. Moving on, so before talking about Marco Asensio, uh, Pep Guardiola was asked uh, what the outgoings of Zinchenko, Jesus and Sterling um, guaranteed. He says, no, I was incredibly happy with Gabriel Alex and Raheem. If they stayed longer, there would be no problem. They proved last year how good they are. Sometimes the players want more and the club feel it is the right moment to do it. Chelsea and Arsenal have paid the money that is fair and the discussions were perfect. Shiki told me good for both sides and really friendly. So that's crazy. Really crazy. Talking about Marco Asensio, well, it looks like Tottenham have entered the race to send are interested in signing Marco Asensio because his contract situation is really crazy. I mean, he's not being given a new deal as of now and he believes that whatever he did last season warrants him to get a big pay rise. So according to Calcio Mercato Web, Tottenham are keen to sign uh, Asensio, previously linked with AC Milan and Arsenal. So that is that. So Arthur Mello, ladies and gentlemen, well, Gabriel Jesus posted an image of himself on Instagram after scoring a goal against Chelsea. He posted that and uh, this is what Arthur Mello commented under it. That is so crazy, isn't it? That's really crazy, man. Interesting. Arthur Mello. Hmm. I'll keep an eye on this one. But let's talk about SMS or Sergei Milinkovic Savage, Manchester United. Since they're not, I mean, I just got the news that uh, Javi has spoken to Frankie de Jong and his representatives just now. And uh, he was told to take a 50% pay cut, to which Frankie said yes. The parties left the meeting satisfied. And that has made sure that Frankie de Jong does not want to come to Manchester United. If that's the case, they'll, they will really put their attention somewhere else. And one of the players that they have put attention into is Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Yes, that's the player that they're looking at in the midfield. Let's see if uh, that will be the case or not. But once Arsenal target will, will forever be Arsenal target until unless Arsenal don't get him. So I'm, I'm really, really finding it really funny. So yes, that's that according to me. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers and don't forget to subscribe.